it's the other horse once again a little bit out of his depth today this is number four Sanu the might of Paul Cox so a great race in prospect the first prize of over 38,000 pounds let's join the man who won it twice would be friendly Peter O'Sullivan thank you Julian and just waiting for Seaf to be installed now to recap glancing an on runner not under starters orders but to the other nine just about to come under orders the white flag poised And that's it. They're in. They're under orders. And they're away. Fast break by Sharpo and Seaf, and also Sanu. And Seaf going on now from Sanu. Then comes uh, Indian King on the inside. Sharpo's been dropped back to fourth as they race towards the home turn. Seaf with the advantage from Indian King, who's now gone second. Then comes Sanu. Fearless Lad tracking him, and Sharpo swings wide towards the outside with Jester alongside him. They're racing towards the three furlong pole now already in the Vernon Sprint. And it's still Seaf taking him along at a blistering pace from Indian King. And he's got a big advantage at the moment, Seaf. From Indian King, Sharpo's moved into third. Then comes Sanu. Then comes Great Eastern. And Fearless Lad and Jester behind them and then Sweet Monday and Hello Cuddles is the back marker and they're coming to the quarter mile pole now and it's still Seaf in the lead from Indian King second then comes Sharpo Fearless Lad and Great Eastern they're racing down towards the furlong pole and it's still Seaf being pressed by Indian King then comes Fearless Lad and Sharpo and Sharpo's got a lot to do and he's not going to do it as they race into the closing furlong it's Indian King striding away now from Fearless Lad and Seaf and Great Eastern putting in a tremendous finish but as they come up towards the line Indian King is going to win it, and at the line, Indian King is the winner, second is Great Eastern, and third, Fearless Lad, then came Seaf and Sharpo and Jester, and behind them, Sweet Monday and Hello Cuddles, and Sanu was last, and so the result of the 1982 Vernon Sprint Cup, first, number two, Indian King, owned by Mr. J. Levy, trained by Guy Harwood, and written by Greville Starkey, and officially, it's a photo for second place, a photo between number one, Great Eastern, and number eight, Fearless Lad, with number five, Seaf fourth, I think uh, we'll find, uh, that is the order, with uh, Sharpo, the odds-on favorite, back in fifth. The ground clearly on the lively side for him, but what a cracking performance this by Indian King. The winner of the Vernon Sprint, a photo for second. Here's how Indian King won it as we review it with Julian Wilson. Well, several factors here. Sharpo's never won on a turning course, and he didn't really seem happy on it at all. Nor, indeed, I think, was he happy on the ground. That's him just moving into third place there, past the fearless lad with the white face, who was going particularly well at this stage. But Greville Starkey was always in second place, always with the long-time leader in his sights. He was the first one to go, and nothing was going to catch him when he made his move. They passed the two there, and... This little horse, Seaf, who's run a terrific race, showed terrific speed, but now Greville has decided to go. He's gone to collar him, and Brian Rouse is asking Sharpo for his effort, and the response, frankly, was disappointing. And I think partly, as I say, due to the ground, um, partly, perhaps, due to the fact that things in the early part of the race didn't go well for him, and I don't think he was on good terms with himself. The white face of Fearless Lad we now see putting in a terrific challenge, but it's a challenge which peters out. Five furlongs is definitely his trip. And look what a great race Great Eastern has run. He's now moving past the pacemaker into second place, and this is certainly the best race that he's ever run in his life. But up front is Greville Starkey and the Indian King, gaining revenge for defeat in the July Cup, right back to his very best, and at his best, he's a very, very good horse indeed. He's the winner by about a couple of lengths, and a very close thing for second between Great Eastern and Fearless Lair. Indian King, the three to one second favorite, and the seventh four-year-old to have won the Vernon Sprint Cup, in which, incidentally, exactly 50 of his age group have competed. Here comes the outcome of the photo, and second horse is number one, Great Eastern. Third is number eight, Fearless Laird, and fourth, number five, Sayer. So, once again, the full official result of the 16th running of Haydock's richest race, the 38,810 pound of the winner, Vernon Sprint Cup. First, number two, Indian King, owned by Mr. J. Levy, trained by Guy Harwood and ridden by Greville Starkey. Second, number one, Great Eastern, owned by Mrs. Sandy Struthers, trained by John Dunlop and ridden by John Reed. And third was number eight, Fearless Laird, owned by Mr. G. Soulsby, trained by Richard Peacock, 
and written by Edward Hyde. Fourth was number five, Seaf. This is the 